Hey guys, welcome back to yet another fresh episode on wireless technology. So in today's video, we'll be discussing the exposed terminal problem or the exposed station problem in the IEEE 802.11 data link layer. So before this, uh, we saw what was the hidden station problem. So if you haven't watched that video, just go and watch that video and then you can resume to this video. So let's begin what is exposed station problem in wireless technology. So to begin with, uh, we consider uh, the similar example which we spoke in the hidden station problem. So uh, instead of uh, three different stations, uh, we have four different stations that is A, B, C, D and just consider A is a guy, B is a girl, C is a guy and D is a girl. So here what happens is uh, if B uh, is talking to A or if B does the data transfer to A and assume that there is a virtual line uh, like this, this doesn't uh, seem to be present uh, in real life but just to uh, make your concept clear it's like just assume a virtual line is there and suppose uh, their data transfer happens means b is transferring to a and at some distance or at some meters away suppose c and d is there and if c wishes to do the data transfer to d and if c senses the medium like we see what happens is there or what is there around the medium or around the environment and if c sees that b is doing the transfer to a then uh, it will come under the wrong impression that since this medium is uh, in busy mode so he should not do the data transfer means he will have a uh, wrong perception that he should wait for some time and later after that he can do the data transfer so basically he has to wait so uh, that basically becomes a question mark whether it has to do the transmission or it does not have to do the transmission so what happens is that c gets stopped there and it becomes the exposed station so this becomes the exposed means he will become the exposed station in this scenario so uh, there are two things to consider basically in this uh, first station a is outside the interference range uh, of station c as well as d means like they are well separated from each other and if at all any collision happens then that will not take that much time to reach uh, to their uh, communication level means uh, the signals will be not so strong but it will be weak so as it will propagate to c so uh, in order to overcome the solution or if you want to make communication happen between c and d we go with the maca solution so uh, maca that is multiple access collision avoidance solution or it's a technique so in this what basically we have is we already seen in the hidden terminal problem we have two signals that is request to send and clear to send cts and rts so what happens is uh, A gives a RTS signal with the address of recipient, address of sender and the future transmission uh, when their future call would be there and in accordance or in an acknowledgement uh, B to A will be sending a CTS signal where it will be having the senders as well as recipient senders and for the time duration they will be doing the communication. So similar uh, applies to C as well as D. If C wants to uh, make a call or C wants to communicate with D, he will give a RTA signal and then in response D will give back a CT signal and therefore you can do the transmission and uh, this problem can be avoided. So well that was all regarding the exposed station problem in wireless technology. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to be educated watching this video, please do like, share, comment and if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching this video.